Hey everybody, I'm Chuck Kasuth with the socialmediapros.net and I'm here today to show you a brief overview of some of the changes or updates that Facebook has made to pages for business. This is something that they forced on all pages uh, effective March 11th and things look a little different. It actually looks uh, more like your personal profile. So let's just dive right in and take a look at some of these changes real quick. So here we're looking at the old style of pages uh, prior to March 11th and we see the typical familiar tabs or applications across the top. And just as before you're going to access your pages via your personal profile and pull down the account tab to use Facebook as page. In the pop-up window I'm going to click the switch button for the page that I want to use and now I'm in full administrator mode. We can see that the page name has changed and the edit page button is in the upper right. And the first thing that kind of pops out is the five photos across the top uh, taking the place of the tabs or boxes. The tabs have moved down below the profile picture. Users visiting your page will typically see about nine of these. If you click the more button and edit, then you can actually click these and drag them up or down to whatever order you prefer. You cannot change wall or info. Those will always be numbers one and two. And real quick, back to the photos at the top. These five photos are randomly placed here and the order does change. You can click the little X in the upper right hand corner to remove them, but there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to Facebook actually controlling what goes there. As for your page's main profile picture, as Facebook still calls it, it's changed from a maximum size of 200 by 600 pixels to 180 pixels wide by 540 high. Clicking the Edit Page button takes you to Manage Permissions and Basic Information. The About field under Basic Information is the text blurb that used to be located under the Profile image, and it is now moved to the Info page. Now every time someone new likes your page, you'll see a notification up in the blue bar with a little red badge indicating how many new likes you have. Back on the wall is a new filter for users and administrators alike to switch between top posts and most recent, or the uh, chronological order we're used to seeing. Clicking the Edit Page button again, and then going to Your Settings, will reveal a couple of really handy features for administrators. Uh, the first one is posting preferences. If checked, this allows you to actually interact on the page and make postings as the page name even if you are not logged in or using Facebook as the page. And email notification sends you an email anytime somebody posts or comments on your page. So I'll go ahead and wrap up talking about the Use Facebook as Page feature. This allows any page administrator to seamlessly interact as the page name, or business name, brand name with their fans and comment as the page name. This has sometimes been a, a very cumbersome task to achieve in the past with multiple page administrators. Now Facebook has made that extremely easy and powerful. Actually, I should show you how to get back into Facebook as your own personal profile. You're just going to go up to the account tab in the blue bar click and pull that down and just select switch back to your profile name and that's all there is to it. So that's it for our quick review of Facebook's pages features from the March 11th 2011 update. If you have any questions regarding your Facebook business page please feel free to contact us at any of the methods shown here. We thank you so much for watching and hope you have a great day.